tell me about why dumpling was so important for you. I know your girlfriend brought it to you. Why were you like, yes? Um, because it just told such a beautiful story that we are in need of, I think, right now for, for young girls um, in terms of loving themselves, uh, in terms of supporting and nurturing female friendships and female empowerment. Um, and it just sort of ticked a lot of the boxes. And also, I was able to work with all of these incredible women and I knew that I was gonna be able to, that Dolly was gonna become a part of it. The umbrella is Dolly. Dolly yes. World is the she umbrella is. of this movie. <laughs> When you heard about this, what were your initial thoughts? Well, the first one I had friends tell me about this book that was out that had me in it. I read it and I was very touched and very moved by it. And somebody said, oh, you should adapt this for a movie. I said, I couldn't do that. That's too self-serving. It's about me. I'm not, you know, I, I don't want to touch that. So I was just flattered and honored. And then a couple of years later, uh, then I heard from Jennifer and all them. I thought, wow, I would definitely be involved in the music because they asked if they could license some uh, original music. Yeah. And I said yes. And then later they said, would Which you write again, a theme jaws song? Jaws on the floor. Every step of the way, <laughs> jaws on the floor. And would you work with Linda Perry and write the song with her? I said yes. I said, would you allow I mean, her Linda to Perry's produce perfection. it? Linda Perry's perfection. And she's great. So we got together, Linda and I, and we not only wrote the theme song, we were so excited about how musical we were together and how fast it was working. So we wrote five uh, new songs. You know, so there's six new pieces in this in addition to a lot of the old ones that we do with some other people. So I was very proud to be part of the music. It was supposed to be just one song. Yeah. She was going to write just one. That's how good she is. And, and, then, and Perry, then it right? just kept coming. And then, because she's just channeling something. <laughs> and it just kept coming. Well, it coming. did. It touched me. I, yeah. I love the, the movie. It has so many elements to it that is, uh, you know, empowering to women and how the mother-daughter relationship winds up you know, being stronger than ever. There was just a lot of stuff to write about. I heard you really related to Dumpling on that note as well. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. I mean, I just, my mom and I always had sort of a push and pull kind of a relationship and and she was a model and, you know, just a, a, it was raised in a, during a time when she didn't have, a, you know, her par parental support wasn't very strong. Um, if any, and so she was doing what she thought was the best right. that she could do, which is t teach me what she was taught. But I really connected to that in the in the in the movies. There it was there with that relationship, and I, I felt a lot of empathy towards mm -hmm. towards Rosie because I didn't. She wasn't doing anything wrong, or she wasn't doing anything she bad. She was just doing the best she could. Dolly, you've been in this business. You're a legend. How is this Me Too era sitting on you? Well, it, how do you process that? Well, I don't even think that much about it because I have always lived my femininity. I just kind of live it and just be it, and I'm all for us doing great. I'm all for us being seen, loved, and appreciated yeah. and paid accordingly. I'm all for that, but I just kind of try to be the example. How does it land on you? You've been in this business for a long time. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's just incredible what's... what. Ha I mean, anything, I think, for to progress in terms of how we are all treated, I think is a wonderful thing. And I think it was, it's was it been very eye-opening um, and it's it's created a lot of connections and, and relationships amongst women. It's been a bit of a, whoa, I'm shocked kind of year and a half. I'm sure you're sitting with friends, you guys are now telling these stories over margaritas. Yeah, or, or I'm just like, the, how lucky I got through that and, and without having any, you know, horrible, scarring emotional experience that, that some of these women are coming out talking about. I understand that we've all sought self-help or therapy at some point and that we're hearing in reports that you did as well after your last breakup. Do you talk about that? After my last breakup, I've been in therapy for years. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell and never miss a video.